Welcome to KC Coding. Today I'm going to show you the extremely easy process of setting up a Ventrilo server. Alright, step one, go to Ventrilo's site. For those of you who don't know, a Ventrilo server allows you to have chat rooms where you can speak live to any friends for free. Now you're going to click on download for whichever operating system you happen to be using. Click to install. Okay, now that you're done installing, it should be as easy as going to event server and, and clicking on this and running your program. For some reason, my computer's, there's a problem with the install, and on my computer at least, it's not letting me do that. So I'm just going to go to the C drive, program files, event server, and run it directly. So now you have your Ventrilo server running. If you want to test this out, you can open up the client side, create a user real quick. Now add the server to your list of servers, just call it testing. Now the host name. Since your server currently, this is the server software, and because it's running on your own computer, to test it, you're going to want to type in what's called the loopback address. And that basically just points your this, which is your client, back towards your own computer. So it goes out and right back in. So the loopback address is 127.0.0.1. And we're just going to click OK. So our server is available. We can connect. And there we go. A Ventrilo server is now running on your computer. Now, let's say that you want other people to be able to use this service. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a domain name that points towards your computer. So you're going to go to this site, DYNDNS. Just create an account. It doesn't take very long. Great way to set it. It's very easy to set up. Now it's going to give you a free domain, and it's going to show you how to point it towards your home computer. So you're going to go to Add a Host Service. You're going to type in your host name. We're going to make this KC Coding. SAS.org, and we're going to make it go to my local, sorry, my public IP address, and we're going to go add to cart. Of course, this service is for you, which is great, so it's just going to say zero dollars and hit next, and you're done, you just go to activate services. So you think you're all done. There's one problem, though. To be able to use this on other computers, your firewall is going to have to let the traffic through. That means you're going to have to open up port number 3784, yeah, 3784. So you're going to need to open up that port, or else no traffic's going to be able to get through. To learn how to open up a port, click right here, you can see it now, to learn how to open a port on a Linksys router. I'm sure you can find a tutorial if you don't have a Linksys router on how to open ports. Now you know how to run a basic event server. For more advanced things, I suggest that you go check out their website. Link in the end of it. But now you have a basic system that people can chat on. And it's pretty robust. It's Now you have a basic system for you and your friends to talk on. This has been Casey for Casey Coding, and I'm logging off.